Hey guys, welcome. This is Josh from NASA Jewelers. What I'm going to show you today is how to melt uh, different precious metals and how much heat it takes. To be very specific, it's almost very hard because it all depends on the operator and how they use the actual torch and the size of the tip. So the bigger the tip, the more heat comes out of the torch. So if you use this mini torch, if, if you change the tips, you're going to apply more heat. So I'm just going to give you a simple example and you can just see the different metals. And it's very important when it comes to platinum, you need your terminator glasses. The darker they are, the better they are because you don't want to hurt your eyes. Safety first. So we're going to start with actual silver first. So silver, you can see my hands on the torch and I increase the oxygen as needed. This is propane and this is oxygen. So I'm going to take this, this, so if I just apply example, a lot of people, they ask, what if I just do propane? You can see propane, I can sit there for a thousand years, it's not going to do absolutely nothing. So what's going to melt that metal is the actual oxygen, okay? So try not to blow on it while you're, it's lit. So here we go. So we're going to go like this. So we're going to increase the oxygen. You can see this is the propane is the inside area. And you can see it right here. So I'm going to pull, once I increase my oxygen, watch my fingers. You can see here, I increase and that actual white area pulls back then you know it's getting hotter the more you pull it back the hotter it gets so as an operator i just go like this i bring it to the silver you can see i increase it if i leave it like this it will melt here at this point but on this point it's going to melt much faster so what i'm going to do is i want to pull it back as hot as i can you can hear it hissing as it hisses you can see the if you're trying to melt something with gemstones on the side you want the metal to melt as fast as possible and this is actual silver okay so let's say if we apply it to actual white gold, same exact operation. So we're going to go from here. You can, see, you can see, watch my fingers. I operate in one hand. Most jewelers, they just leave it like this and they hold it with the full hand. But I actually try to practice to actually operate oxygen propane with your fingertips. And that's how you're going to be way better operator with the actual torch. So I'm going to go here, white gold. If I notice if it's not if it's taken too long, I increase my oxygen. By increasing the oxygen, it does melt the item much much faster. But if I zig, if I go like this, it's gonna take forever to melt. You can see it like this. So I'm gonna pull it back. Once I pull it back, the oxygen does the job. So I'm gonna put my Terminator glasses on and take a look right here. See, so look, I look pretty cool, right? All right. So I'm gonna go here like this. So make sure you protect your eyes. It's very very important because platinum takes a lot of heat. And to, if I go like this with the regular actual temperature that I use on these metals, you can see here platinum it will um, it will heat up, okay. And but what happen is it's gonna turn really red, okay. So make sure your tip is nice and clean. I think my tip is a little dirty. It's okay. So I'm gonna go here like this. So I'm gonna let's say if I increase this, so you can see the platinum is gonna turn very very red, okay. So now you got to be super careful if you have gemstones on the sides and if you have even diamonds. The diamonds will burn if you just get this close. The diamonds will burn and turn cloudy. If you have a gemstone on the side with it's sapphire, emeralds, rubies, it doesn't matter what it is. You will crush those stones. They'll be like, they'll turn into cold. They'll be done. Okay? But even diamonds, you have to be super careful. That's why you always follow the actual flame. So when you, the flame hits this area, you need to stop. So now watch it. If I heat here, and you can see how the heat is actually traveling. So the high I get to the actual, sh on the shank itself, you can see how it travels. Now, when it gets to that point, I will stop because I will burn those diamonds. Now, if you're sitting there and you're trying to solder here like this, most likely I always fuse platinum, white gold, platinum, uh, silver, yellow gold, doesn't matter. So by increasing my oxygen, you're going to hear it hiss. So I'm going to increase this. Okay. So I might have to change the tip because this tip is really bad, I guess. It's filled. Yeah, give me one second. Keep keep it going. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit uh, this number five tip. Okay. So it's going to give me a much wider, wider uh, flame. Okay. Hopefully this is not as dirty. All right. This is pretty good. So we're going to increase it. You can hear it hissing. You hear it hissing? If it's not hissing, you're never going to melt the platinum. Now watch this. So you can see it's starting to melt right there. Now, I recommend go a little bit higher on the actual um, tip itself, okay? So the higher the tip, the better. Because when I increase my oxygen, you want to hear it hissing? And you can see how it's actually melting. Okay? It's the actual oxygen doing the work. So you want to go at least 90% oxygen, about 10% propane. So the higher you go on the oxygen, the better it is. It's going to melt much faster. 
I hope you enjoy this, and uh, any questions, please leave your comments. I'll be more than happy to answer.